What's up my YouTube family? Welcome back to the Gaming Brigade and today my friends I wanted to put together a really quick video in regards to Farming Floor 10 of the Summit and the reason I wanted to do that is due to the fact that many of you have reached out to the channel since the launch of Title Update 15 and 15.1 and you've been asking if they've patched this farming method. The answer is no my friends it still works therefore I wanted to walk you through a few steps today. Now if you happen to be new here feel free to hit that subscribe or join button if you enjoyed enjoyed this do me a favor hit that like button as well and remember we are currently having a giveaway for an Xbox Series X to enter all you need to do is subscribe here or follow on Twitter and the winner will be announced on July 4th of this year. Now there happen to be a lot of different details I want to touch base on in this video but we're going to start off with the farming method itself. Now as you can see I'm going to load into floor 10 which means you have to actually get to floor 10 in the summit so obviously that's the first step you need to take in order to do this. Now for those of you that are newer just returning to the game the main reason we're focusing on floor 10 is because that's a boss floor which means you're going to find a named boss and our goal in doing this is to get to this floor take out the named boss reload back to the lobby and just farm a boss over and over again one of the most commonly asked questions I get at the channel in regards to summit boss farming is can you do this on any 10th floor and the answer is yes so my friends I do not care if you do this on floor 10 20 30 90 it is completely up to you now, there happen to be a few details in regards to the higher you go in the summit but I'll touch base on that in a minute so you can see here I'm on floor 10 challenging difficulty I take out a few NPCs and then we see the named boss show up now all I do is I take out the named boss once that's done I pick up the loot I open up my map you can see here it says return to the lobby I return to the lobby and that's it my friends all you do at that point is rinse and repeat and you can farm that floor as many times in a row as you like now the most important factor in using this farming method is that you cannot clear the floor entirely. I cannot stress that enough. You have to keep at least one NPC alive because if you take out the named boss and all the other NPCs are gone, that means you will have entirely cleared the floor and if that happens when you load back into the summit you'll be at floor 11 which defeats the point because you cannot take out a boss on floor 11. So again to be clear, take out the boss, go back to the lobby and you should be good to go. Now many of you may be wondering why would you bother farming the summit at all when we have countdown I mean in countdown you can farm for so much loot in a short amount of time you're getting a bunch of named items there are hunters all that good stuff now the main reason people are still farming in the summit is due to the fact that a you can still play that as a solo player for those of you that do not like playing in an eight person group even though I cannot recommend jumping into countdown enough I mean it is absolutely fantastic and secondly in the summit, you can choose your difficulty. Now you can see here I'm playing on legendary. Once again, floor 10, I take out the boss, go back to the lobby. Now this is another very efficient way to hopefully get the big horn. So if you haven't gotten it as yet, I recommend this method. Now for those of you that are still trying to get that weapon, I put out a farming video for it a while back. I will leave a link in the description down below. The video is like six months old, but the farming method is exactly the same. I'll also leave a link to a few builds that may help you out because for those of you getting into legendary, you will see a big uptick from heroic into that. Now one thing I want to make sure I mention because I'm not sure if I did in a previous version of this video that I did, but there are four different layouts, I believe it's four, that you could possibly run into when you look into floor 10. Now if you're like me you're going to have ones you like ones you dislike so always remember when you load into the floor if you happen to dislike the floor you land on feel free to go back to the lobby and just try again I mean you'll see in a moment what I do is just that I do not like this layout of the floor I was just on because the travel time to get to the NPC takes a little longer than I like therefore I went back to the lobby and you'll see in a moment I do wind up on a floor that I enjoy farming due to the fact that the NPCs are pretty much right there as the elevator doors open. Now for me when it comes to this farming method, I want to be as efficient as I can with my time. So to give you an example, I will compare, you know, floor 10 to floor 90. Now on floor 10, as you've seen, I get to the floor, I take out a few NPCs, the named enemy comes out, I take them out, go back to the lobby. However, when you get to floor 90, you wind up being able to face three named enemies on that floor. So there are three waves of NPCs. After each wave comes out, there is a named boss. Once again, you need to make sure that you do not clear the 
the floor entirely. Now, for me in my gameplay, I can clear floor 10 three times faster than I can floor 90 once. And of course, it all depends on your build and, you know, what luck you've had. But for me, floor 10 has been incredibly good. And on the flip side of that coin, you may hear from people saying floor 90 is the only way to go. Never forget, my friends, it's all luck. You know, everyone is going to have a different experience with this game, you know, in regards to which floor you should farm. What I like to do is show you methods that have worked for me. So for me, floor 10 was just really effective. Other people may say a different floor, floor 90. So again, my friends, try out different things. Keep me posted and hopefully you wind up getting what you're looking for. The other thing I want to make sure I mention is that this can be done in a group as well. Just make sure everyone in your group knows do not clear the floor entirely. Then you load back to the lobby and just rinse and repeat. You are stacking loot, stacking XP. Again, it is still a very highly effective way to farm for those of you that may not like running countdown. With all that being said, my friends, I'm going to start to wrap this up. However, as always, I want to thank you all for your incredible support of this channel and remind you if you have any questions, comments, or feedback, please let me know in the section down below and I'll get back to you as quick as I can. At this point, I'm going to let the rest of the video play out. However, like I mentioned at the beginning of this thing, if you happen to be new here, feel free to hit that subscribe or join button. If you enjoyed this, you could hit that like button as well. But most importantly, take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and we will talk to you soon. Thanks again, everyone. Target approaching.